our mayor a big welcome, and he has just a couple of words that he wants to say. And uh, we'll also let Councilman Brooks uh, give you a couple of words as well. So. Right. Well, wow, it's very appropriate that we listen to Ray Charles. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I uh, thank you very much, Linda, for, for having me here and to Whittier uh, Neighborhood Association. It's good to be back home. This is uh, where I spent the most part of my uh, formative years, just down the street at 28th and Humble. Uh, so it's good to be back here. We used to, we ran these streets. <laughs> and so it's good to be back. So my, my message is very, very brief. Um, one is it's good to be in the neighborhoods. As I share with someone here, we get to do a lot of these parties during the, the holiday season. But I like coming to the neighborhoods um, and see the folks who, a lot of mostly who live in the, Denver, in the city Mayor. area. Uh, but, uh, hey, man. Uh, but also those of you who make these, this city great because it's really about the neighborhoods and the people who live here that make this city uh, the great city that it is. And my message is very simple. Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy New Year. And, and I know that we have been, as a nation, through a lot this year. We have experienced some unspeakable tragedies uh, this year and here locally uh, in nearby Aurora, um, but also um, no matter where you were when you heard about Connecticut, it was something that pained each and every one of us. So I just hope you take the time um, all of us take time this holiday season to, to share with someone in our families the fact that we love them. And we grab a young person and remind them that there are folks who love you and will always love you. So uh, and my best wish to you during this holiday season, to you and yours, be healthy and have fun. So with that, I'll turn it over to your great councilman. Well, I'll tell you, and this is no joke, um, I'll tell you there is not a member uh, of city council representing a district who works harder for his district than this guy here. Um, this guy is kicking tail. And I love the fact that he's reaching to the youngest of you all, <laughs> the children, and saying I must touch them as well um, as I represent the district. So with that, I'll turn it to your great councilman, Albus Brooks. Thank you. Hey, thanks, uh, <laughs> thanks you all for, for coming in and hanging out on this cold, very, very, very cold uh, December night. You know, I, I think it's great that this speaks to what kind of mayor we have here, that he will come to a small gathering like this and say, you know what, the intimacy in what happens in community is critical and important. And, uh, and I know his schedule, and it's crazy, but he was spending some time, so I want to say thank you for coming to the neighborhood. Yeah. We have the greatest district in the city. And right now we are, it feels like we're sitting, we're sitting on gold. Um, there's so many great things happening around the district. Right up the street, the largest redevelopment, larger than Union Station, larger than um, the, the redevelopment at the airport, is St. Joe's, $623 million, right? And, and we talk about economic impact. That impacts the community, right? That impacts um, this whole neighborhood. And so, so excited about that. And we have five points. Five points redevelopment. That is going to happen in this mayor's, it's going to be a part of his legacy. It's going to happen in his term. And he's he first is term. yeah first time <laughs> <laughs> he is so he is there so supportive go. of this and Tracy is just doing a f f fabulous job over there at the Five Points Business District but now is the time it's a perfect time we have 1.3 billion dollars in redevelopment coming along with fast tracks right the East Rail Line that's coming in. I mean, there's a large opportunity, and we're going to be a part of all of that. And so um, this is a great time to be living in District 8. Um, and, and my message to you, my message to you is you're engaged, but get others engaged. Yeah. Get your neighbors engaged, because that's when we really bring that vibrancy to the neighborhood. And so, um, you know, it, it's the same message I'm telling every neighborhood organization. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for your vision and your leadership. Now let's go in and include more folks. Let's go in and grab some of the neighbors and make sure that we have a diverse, not disconnected, but connected community. So um, thank you guys so much uh, for coming out and hanging. Hey! <laughs> this is, she is, Karen is amazing. Okay, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, enjoy this evening, and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you, Mayor, for coming here. Thank you. and she is so sorry that she cannot be here tonight, but she wants to thank all of you all for being here and 
appreciates how much work and effort you guys put into your community. And on behalf of all the work that we have done with you all, we are just so grateful to be a part of all the work. This community garden, the Whittier Garden there at 31st and Franklin has been such a great project and we're so thrilled that you all are including us and we've been here every step of the way and we just can't wait to see what happens in 2013. So thank you all so much. Happy holidays. Thanks,